Hey guys, this Wednesday is with Chasey Poo. So my hair's all like messed up and there's like hairs everywhere, but I have like no patience to cut my hair even though it would only take like half an hour, but let's just deal with it. Okay, so this week's topic is an ah, uh, It's an advice week. So basically, uh, what is this advice week? How to pe- No, that's not it. How to get people to call you your name. Did I really word it that way? I'm sorry, that was really bad English of me. Bad English with me. Wow, I'm really on a roll right now. Hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna tell you what I did first, and it can kind of give you an idea of what maybe you can do if you have troubles um, with your name. I started a job, okay, where, I mean, I had a job and they didn't really know I was trans or anything, and then I tried to tell my supervisor, like, hey, you should, like, call me by this name, and she, like, completely didn't, like, listen. So I went to, like, HR and I was like, dude, this is inappropriate, like, oh, I identify like this, like, I want my name to be Chase and stuff like that. So then they were, like, really rude and they were like, well, we're gonna need a timeline of, like, when you're actually gonna legally change your name and when you're gonna start testosterone and have surgeries and stuff. And I was like, excuse me? And plus, like, this was not that long ago, right? I was maybe, like, 18 or something when this happened. So I was kind of, like, impression imp impressionable, whatever, and I wasn't really, like, all there so I didn't think you know it was that bad for people to ask that but ask that but it's inappropriate like are you kidding I'm not gonna tell you all this and you're assuming I want all these things like rude cis sexist motherfuckers anyways so I, I, I left that job because I had to anyways I was sick of it and then I started another job a couple months later maybe like six months later and it was like right before I started tea right I think it was like I started I, I was starting tea like three weeks after and I, I, I applied as Chase this time and I told them but I wasn't really passing so it was like Chase and she and that really like sucked but like nobody knew that my name wasn't Chase and it, only like the payroll people that's it and then I left that job as well because it sucked and all I did was like watch Lost or something and which isn't a good idea but um to watch at work but um then I, I didn't work for a bit because of school, and then I got another job. And this job, this is where it's at. I applied as Chase, the like trainer person that I like gave my name to, and I told them like, look, like this is my name. Like, can you not show anybody? Like, almost showed it to like everybody, and almost died. And I went to kill people. Nobody has ever used my other name at this job, but they have, um, they have like called me she, and that's hard because it's like. Chase and he and everybody sees me as a guy and then this one fucking person says he and you uh, She I'm sorry, and you just want to die So me being so brave and stuff I completely ignored it and didn't talk about it until somebody else corrected them which made me feel better <laughs> As for my friends, I just told them I was like look like I'm gonna go to therapy because I feel like I'm actually a boy inside and I'm gonna start going by chase now Is there any way that you can like maybe contact me and contact me well maybe you can call me chase please they didn't it took them a long time and i felt like they didn't really respect me because they didn't like call me by the name that i really wanted them to call me by and it like sucks because like they're your friends like you're they were my high school friends too like i was like really close to them and it was hard and then like one time they just i don't know like i, I made a video about like how much it sucked that my friends weren't and i know they didn't see this video but right after that video was made it's literally like day to night they started calling me chase and saying he and i was like whoa like sometimes they would trip up but then they would go like oh i mean chase and i'd look and i'd be like hey you acknowledge my existence um but that's really just for my close friends for my family it's it's hard um i like moved out while i was like really coming out and starting tea and stuff like that and um I lived with like my roommate who is trans and my friends who were like queer and stuff like that. So it was like Chase and he all the time, even though I didn't really pass. And then like my dad started kind of asking questions. So I told him and you know, it's still like my birth name and stuff like that around the house, but um, cause I moved back in, but I mean, it's completely fine. It's my dad. I'm not gonna make him call me something else. He's, he's my dad. He has my name tattooed on his arm. Like uh, that's probably gonna be the only person that I'm never ever going to mind. I mean. I'm, I think that while when my name is legally, 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 legally changed, like I'm actually going to, um, I, I'm actually going to make sure that he does, um, you know, try a little harder. But I mean, it's my dad. Like I don't want to lose him. I'm not going to lose him over something stupid like 
change my name and say he now. Like, no, like, yes, other people want that and stuff like that. And I don't give a fuck if you think it doesn't make me trans enough because I don't give a fuck. But trust me, as my dad, I'm not going to lose him over something stupid like this. And I know I wouldn't, but I'm not going to, like, no. No, like, it's my dad. Funny enough, I have, like, my birth certificate here because I'm in the process of changing my name. And I'm actually really pissed off because for my name change, I have to, like, I changed my name, but my fucking birth name is still on my birth certificate. Like, I'm not going to show you my birth name, but, like, this is what the Quebec birth certificate looks like. Like, bitch, please. Certificat de naissance. Yeah, thanks, you fucking... I am not going into fucking details about why I hate Quebec, but I'm saying fuck a lot. Totally going off topic, but dear God, please, if you need help and you don't really know what to do and how to get people to... I'm sorry, there's, like, fucking Spanish music behind me right now. But if you need help, like, I would really recommend... The easiest thing to do is show people trans videos and, like, maybe show trans videos of like people who are trans with their friends and showing that like you know it's if you explain to people what the situation is i and they're your close friends they should respect those wishes and if they don't like that really sucks and i'm not going to tell you like oh go find yourself some new friends like no like I, I understand but you know it's 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 important i think it's it's extremely important to be open with your friends you can also write letters. I mean, this is kind of like coming out, but it's more like getting people to call your name, you know? Like, maybe hang out with a friend who calls you Chase around other people. Like, that's kind of how I did it. Like, all my friends call me Chase, and then, like, they kind of, like, hung out with my dad, and it was more like, it's not awkward or anything, but it's just, like, you you see. You're like, oh, right, like, the friends who don't call you, like, Chase or something, they, they don't call yourself Chase, like, what am I talking about? They really look at you, and your friend who calls you Chase, and you'd be like, oh... I guess, like, this is real. I guess that I really should, like, start calling him Chase, even though that's weird, and I don't really know him as Chase, and I don't even know him as a him. He's kind of a her still to me. But still, your friends should be inclined to at least try, because the second they try, man, the fucking smile on your face. Anyways, this video is long enough, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. My stomach hurts. I need to go read, like, 300 pages of readings right now before Thursday. Yeah, right.